terms like constants, variables, algebraic terms, algebraic expressions. And you, are, you also came to know that all algebraic expressions cannot be considered as polynomials. Some of them are polynomial to the power of the variables is non-negative integer. Is it not? Yes or no? And you can define the polynomial as an algebraic expression involving the variables whose power is non-negative integers, nothing but whole numbers. In the algebraic expression, if the power of the variables is a whole number, then you can say that it is a polynomial. Then we also came to know that the general form of a polynomial, it is to be written as P of x is equal to a naught x raised to the power zero is nothing but one. Then a one x raised to the power one plus a two x raised to the power two and so on plus a n x raised to the power n. And its succeeding term can be written as a n plus one x raised to the power n plus one. Then preceding term can be written as a n minus one x rise to the power n minus 1. And here the variable involved is x. Therefore, we have represented this polynomial as P of x, which means it is polynomial in x. Then, whereas a0, a1, a2, and so on, up to a, there are coefficients. And here, n, where n is, a non-negative integer, nothing but whole number. It starts from zero, zero, one, two, three, up to infinity. Then we come across the highest power of the variable involved in the polynomial, which is called degree of the polynomial. You have to recall that in your mind, the highest power of the variable involved in the polynomial is called degree of the polynomial. And based on degree of the polynomial, we have classified the polynomials into some types. One is a polynomial of degree one. It is linear polynomial. And its general form is ax plus b, where a is not equal to zero. A polynomial of degree two is called quadratic polynomial. And it's abbreviated and its general form is, it is a x square plus b x plus c, where a is not equal to zero. A polynomial of degree three is called cubic polynomial, and its general form is, it is a x cube plus b x square plus c x plus b, where a is not equal to zero. Then similarly, the further, further are to be taken as biquadratic, then quintic, hexic, like this. In general, we say that they are all multinomials. So in the examination point of view, we may expect up to biquadratic, that is a polynomial of degree four, up to there, degree one, degree two, degree three, and degree four. Then after that, we learned how to find out the value of a polynomial for the given value of variable. Next. And in those value of variables, some variables are can make the value of polynomial as zero. And we call such values as, very good, zeros of a polynomial, a zero of a polynomial. The value of a variable involved in the polynomial, which makes the value of polynomial as zero, is called zero of a polynomial, got it? Then one more, what do you call a polynomial of degree zero? It is a constant polynomial, right? Then after that, we started focusing on finding the, uh, finding the zero of a polynomial. I think in that only three were over, right? Three were over, now I'm going to give you fourth one. Right. 
going to this day, it is one way. Oh, oh, I think it is sixth one. Sixth one. Okay, okay. okay. Five or over. And for the examination point of view, you can expect the statement in which the coefficients are real numbers, particularly root numbers. Okay. Now, let me go for taking two more. Our thoughts will move on to the next concept. It is right root 2 x square root 2 into x square plus 7x plus 5 into root so we have to find out the zeros of this polynomial okay please go on writing with me first the very first step we are going to equate the given statement to zero as we are going to find out its zeros. Right. It is root 2 into x square plus 7x plus 5 into root 2, which is equal to zero. It's very simple. And in the next step, we will go for taking the first coefficient and the last constant. And let us multiply them. Here root 2 is there, last 5 into root 2 is there. Here root 2 into 5 into root 2. This is equal to, observe. Here root 2 into root 2, it is just 2. 2 5s are 10. You got 10. And the middle term is, this is 7. You will write 7. We have to find out the factors of 10 such that when you multiply, you should get 10. And on simplifying, you must get 7. Very good. Pratham Raikar, you are right. It is 5 and 2. Or 2 and 5. See, 5 twos are 10. 5 plus 2, it is 7. Now, let me go for writing. Root 2 into x square. 7x is there. 7x, I'll write it as 5x plus 2x or 2x plus 5x. 2x plus 5x. First, I have written 2 because here we have root. Next, I have written 5 because in the last term, we have 5. Plus, 5 into root 2 is equal to 0. And go for grouping and take the common factor. Look here. Here I am going to write it directly. Here 2 is there. 2 can be written as root 2 into root 2. Is it not? This is 2 can be written as root 2 into root 2. Now I will take root 2 x as common factor. Then you get x plus 2 is written as root 2 into root 2. Then into x. One root, root 2 x is taken as common factor you will get just root 2 only. Have you understood? Akanksha MG, understood? Yes. Uh, Savano, did you understand? Okay, okay. Now, observe the second group. Can you repeat it, sir? Okay, okay. Do that. Observe. Root 2 into x square plus this 2 is there. 2 is written as root 2 into root 2 into x plus 5x plus 5 into root 2. This is equal to 0. Now observe in the first group, we have root 2 root 2. x is there, x is there. Hence, I go for taking root 2 into x as common factor into here x will remain in the second term. Only root 2 will remain. Suraj Chandra, hope that you have understood. Next, in the second group, we have in the second group, we have 5 as common factor. 
when you take out phi as common factor, you will get x plus root 2. See, 5 into x is 5x, 5 into root 2 is 5 root 2. This is equal to 0. Now, in the whole statement, x plus 2 is a common factor. Then let us write x plus 2. And the remaining terms are it is root 2 into x plus this is equal to 0. Now, equate each term to 0. Ananya P, are you understanding? Okay, yes. Now, x plus root 2 is equal to 0. And equate second term to 0. Second term is root 2 into x plus 5 is equal to 0. Then solve x in each case. Here x is minus root 2. Then here root 2 x is equal to transfer 5 to the right hand side. It becomes minus 5. Then transpose 2 to the denominator. It will be 5 by root 2. So x equal to minus 5 by root 2. Hope you have got the same. Now, let us write the conclusion. Therefore, the zeros are the zeros are zeros are one is minus root 2 and another one is minus 5 by root minus 5 by root over Vignesham V completed huh? okay Pramukh completed okay Nihal oh. then I'll go for taking the next one this is last one regarding finding zeros Right. This one is seven one is two x square minus x plus one by a, which is equal to zero. Sorry, not equal to zero. It's a problem. 2x square minus x plus 1 by 8 equal to 0. Let's go for, for factorizing this. Nothing but finding the 0. First, equate the given statement to 0. 2x square minus x plus 1 by 8 equal to 0. Observe the last term, nothing but constant, is in fraction. You may find it a bit discomfort when you are solving. So let us go for converting that as a integer. So what should be done? Yes, yes, yes. In the denominator, we have eight. Let us multiply eight with all the terms. Right? Multiply eight on both terms. Then eight to the 16. 16 square minus 8 into x. It is 8x plus here 8 is multiplied. 8 and get cancer. 1 will be. This is equal to 0. Now you can go for finding the zeros. Multiply first and last one. Here 16, here 1. This is 61. It is 16. And the middle term is, this is, this is minus 8. Middle term is minus 8. Now let's go for taking the factor. So that's you are right. Very good. Here, 4 and 4. 4, 4 is 60. 4 plus 4 is 8. But we want minus 8. Then what? Where? Ah, so that's Correct, correct, correct. It is minus 4 and minus. 
minus 4 minus 4 minus 8 minus 4 into minus 4 it is 4 minus into minus plus 4 4 for 16 now let us write we have 16 x square minus 8 x is split up as minus 4 x minus 4 this is minus 4 x minus 4 x plus 1 equal to 0 Let's go for grouping by taking two two terms. In the first group, you can come to know that 4x is common factor. Yes. Then 4, 4 for 50, x into x is x square minus. Then 4x, 1s are 4x. In the next group, we have the common factor. One only. So that is when you take out minus one as common factor, one four za, then one x. It's minus into minus. This will be plus. Then one one za one, which is equal to zero. Just once I repeat here in the, in the given statement in the denominator, we have eight. So that we have multiplied 8 on either sides. 8 2s are 16. 8 1s are 8. 8 into 1 by 8. It is 1 because 8 and 8 gets cancelled. Next, you will take first and last term. That is 16 and 1. You will multiply. You will get 16. And the middle term is minus 8. We have to find out the factors of 16. Such that when you multiply, you should get 16. And when you simplify, you must get minus 8. Such factors are minus 4. And minus 4. Minus 4, minus 4, minus 8. Minus 4 into minus 4 is plus 60. Now, minus 8x has been written as minus 4x minus 4. In the first group, we have 4x common factor as well as x. Then you get 4x minus 1. In the second group, we do not have common factor except 1. Hence, I have taken 1 as common factor. I, you are asking why a should be multiplied without multiplying also you can you can find out the zeros but to make it to make the calculation simple one we will go for multiplying this by a then we will get only the integers it will be easier here in the whole statement 4x minus 1 is common factor and the remaining Again, 4x minus 1. This is equal to 0. Then this is 4x minus 1 is equal to 0. Even second term, 4x minus 1 equal to 0. Transfer minus 1 to the right hand side, it becomes plus 1. Then x is equal to, that is 4x equal to 1. x is nothing but 1 by 2. Then this is 4x equal to, again, plus 1. x is equal to 1 by 4. So these are the two zeros. Yes. Uh, conclusion. Therefore, the zeros are, zeros are 1 by 4 and 1 by 4. One student is asking that, sir, can we take 1 by 8 as minus 8? You cannot. 1 by 8 can be written as 8 raised to the power minus 1 if you go for using class of exponents. Here it is no need to go for writing either like this or like this. This is the best way. <clears throat> okay. Dear students, so far we have come across how to find out zeros of the polynomial. But what type of polynomials have been taken? One is first linear polynomial. And these are quadratic polynomials, is it not? In the linear polynomial, how many zeros we got with respect to each? Simple, again, I'll take just up. 2x plus 3 is this. this is the polynomial. 
you found found out the zero of this polynomial. That is two x plus three equal to zero. Then two x equal to minus three. X equal to minus three by two. How many zeros are there? There is only one zero. Is it not? And after that, we took the quadratic polynomials. In each quadratic polynomial, how many zeros are there? There are very good. Two two zeros are there. Look at this is a quadratic polynomial. We got two zeros. Even in previous problems also, we got two two zeros. And suppose one simple information: x cube equal to eight, or x cube minus eight is the polynomial. You should find out the zeros. Yes. It can be written as it is equal to zero. Then x cube is equal to eight, and you will write x is equal to two root of eight. Then you used to write this as two. Is it not? You also learn that this can also be written as x cube is equal to two cube. Next, x into x into x is equal to two into two into two. Then compare. What is x value? Two. Second x value? Two. Third x value? Two. Is it not? So it has three zeros. It's a cubic polynomial has three zeros. So from all these examples, we may conclude one statement that uh, before that, again, just I'll make you to recap. If linear polynomial is there, we'll get one zero. Quadratic polynomial is there, we get two zeros. Cubic polynomial is there, we get three zeros. Similarly, if biquadratic polynomial is there, we'll get four zeros. Got it? So number of zeros depend on the degree of the polynomial or type of the polynomial. Got it? Okay. Adya, Adya KB. Listen. So the degree of the polynomial will also give the information about the number of zeros. <clears throat> Not only just highest power, it will also give the information about the number of zeros. If degree is one, one zero. Degree is two, two zeros. Degree is three, three zero. Uh, you just uh, write that point. Right. Note. N O T E. Note. Right. Number of zero. Sorry, is it possible to get more than two days? Get more. Oh. See, one student is asking a question that, sir, is it possible to get the number of zeros more than two with respect to quadratic? It's not. By quadratic idre, we will get only two zeros. The those two zeros may be equal or different. See, in this statement, we have same zeros. One by four, one by four, either. equal zeros. In previous, we, we got distinct, nothing but different zeros. Are it a possibility zero? Right, note, the number of zeros, the number of zeros are a polynomial, polynomial depends on its degree, its degree. And please do remember those zeros may be equal or distinct. This part, this much is enough. Ora. Okay, now listen. The students, with calculation, we have come to know how to find out the zeros of the polynomial. We can also find out the zeros of the polynomial using the graph as well. Now let us come to know. What is that relationship between finding the zeros 
with respect to graph. I'll go for explaining and it is to be studied under the heading called geometrical meaning of zeros of a polynomial. Geometrical meaning of zeros of a polynomial. Write down, side heading. You may go for using the graph note. Graph notebook. Right. Geometrical meaning of zeros of a polynomial. Geometrical meaning of meaning of zeros of a polynomial. If you have graph notebook, it's okay. RS, you may go for using sheet as well. In your students, in your previous classes itself, you have learned how to draw graph for the linear polynomial in one variable or two variables, is it not? I go for taking one such linear polynomial. And this is, let me go for taking simple one, Right. Draw the graph of the polynomial. Draw, draw the graph of graph of the polynomial. Two x plus three. 2x plus 3. But enough. You may also write, and hence you may find out the zeros. Just this much is enough. Yes, yes, Suraj, you must write. Dear students, when you are drawing the graph for any polynomial, you know that first you will go for finding the coordinate points. So let us go for finding the coordinate points. Right, first, let us take that given polynomial as y. y is equal to 2x plus 3. y equal to 2x plus 3. Now, you have to find out the coordinate points. To find out the coordinate points, you have to assume the values for x, then you will get the value of y. Please go for drawing the calculation table. This table is very simple. Please go on drawing with me. First column is for x. Second column, this is for y. That is the given polynomial. y equal to 2x plus 3. Then third column is for ordered pay. That is, that is the space used for writing the coordinates of points. This is x comma y. Hope that you have drawn. Ikran asked me, have drawn. Okay, good, good. Okay, good girl. Chirag. Amulya MK. Yes, okay, okay. Sneha PB.
సార్ అన్మ్యూట్ ఆడియో ఓకే 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 సార్ let's go for choosing the values for x to find out the values of y i say first zero then y is equal to, observe and go on writing it substitute zero in place of x it is 2 into 0 plus 3 2 zeros out 0 0 plus 3 it is 3 <coughs> now you can write the order pair or the coordinates of a point as when x is 0 y will be 3 that is 0 comma 3 let us take second point you may take 1 in place of x let us take 1 right y is equal to 2 into 1 plus 3 2 ones are 2 plus 3. This is 5. Then in order pair, right, it is 1, comma 5. That is when x is 1, y is 5. Let's go for it. two points are enough because to draw a line, we get we need only two points. Let me go for finding one more point. Okay. Yes. Let us say. 2 in place of x. Substitute 2 in place of x. Then y is equal to 2 into 2 plus 3. Seven. 2 twos are 4. 4 plus 3, it is 7. So when x is 2, y is 7. Yes. So we got three points, 0, 3, 1, 5, 2, 7. Even you may go for finding the coordinate point by taking minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, plus 3, and so on in place of x. Now, let us go for locating these points in the graph. You take the graph sheet or graph notebook. Take a Cartesian plane. So... Question or to write the notes a graph book, sir? For question. Sir, after, after uh, drawing this in the graph, you may paste that sheet in your notebook also. Partition. Partition plane is nothing but graph graph sheet only. Sir, sir, we can keep a graph book, sir. Yes. Draw X and Y axis. Even I too will go for drawing. X axis is one drawing neatly. Next, the vertical line is called Y axis. Sir, I have written everything in graph book only, sir. Okay, no problem at all. It's nice. Go on. Next. We know that horizontal line is called x axis and is denoted as x o x dash. See, this is x o x dash. Should use only capital letters. Next, vertical line is called y axis and is denoted as y o y dash. Next. Go for writing the numbers. We know that right side of zero are positive. All right, one, then two, three, four, five, and so on. Right bit small. Chimay. Next. On the left side of zero are negative. Right. Negative one, negative two negative 3, negative 4, and so on. Above 0 are positive. Right. Positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, positive 4, positive 5, 
positive six and positive seven. Below zero are negative, right? Negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, and so on. Here we have fortunately we have only positive values here. Now let's go for locating these points. Hope that you have finished this. Chinmayi, completed the Chayabi. Chandanayas, completed. Okay, good girl. Varsha MS, yes. Now let's go for locating this point. Zero comma three is there. That is when x is zero, y is plus three. Zero. This is you know that the point of intersection of x and y axis is called origin. It is coordinates of that origin is zero comma zero. So zero is here and y is plus three. If this is y axis. Below zero are negative. Above zero are positive. Three is here. Just put a dot. And encircle it. Follow this method of locating. Some students will go for locating putting stars like star like this. We won't get the exact point. So just do one thing. Put just put a dot and encircle it. It looks neat also. It is zero comma three. Next one. One comma five. When x is plus one, y is plus one. Chimai observe the board. When x is positive one, plus one is here. Y is positive five here. So these two will intersect at this point. So dot and insert. Yes. Look at it. It is one comma five. Similarly. Two comma seven. When x is two plus two, y is seven. Seven y is seven is here. So both will intersect at this point. Right. It is two comma seven. Now go for joining all the three points. Pratham J R. Pratham ji, are sit in our place properly. Yes. Hope that you have drawn the, you have got the graph like this only. Hmm? Look here. Sir. Sir, we should extend this line after three, plus three to X dash. Uh, you, can extend, one, you can extend the line to any okay. length. Now, this is the graph of the given parabola. That is y equal to two x plus three. Just here I'll write two x plus three. Now let us go for some important points with respect to this. This is it. Let's stop writing. Hope that you are completed. Here, 2x plus 3. 2x plus 3. It is a polynomial. What type of polynomial it is? Linear polynomial. Linear polynomial. Why it is linear polynomial? It because is having one degree. 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 Then what is the Nature of graph of this linear polynomial? Straight line. Straight line. Straight line. Straight line. What is it? It is a straight line. This straight line may come like this also. Even in this way also. In this way also. What is it? Just we have taken only one possibility. Observe the given polynomial is 2x plus 3. You know how to find out the zeros of this polynomial. It is equal to zero, then two x equal to minus three, x equal to minus three by two. 
minus 3 by 2 is nothing but minus 1.5. We also know that as it is a linear polynomial, it has only one zero. That one zero is minus 1.5. Can we get that minus 1.5 on the graph? Yes, yes or sir. no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Between okay. 1 and yes. 2. Minus also, 1 and minus 2. This line has been extended. This line has intersected a point on the x-axis. Okay. This is the point. It is the point. This, uh, the graph of the given polynomial has intersected the x-axis at a point. This point lies between minus 1 and minus 2. It means it is minus 1.5. So from this, we can, we can say that 0 of the given polynomial can also be found out by using the graph. So this 0 is the point on the x-axis where the graph of the given polynomial intersect. Followed. You know, when graph drama to be our x axis very yearly intersect at the normal. That point is the zero of the given polynomial. Clear? Now, just below this graph, you write below this graph. Below this graph, the information. Nature of the graph is I'll write it separately. Coordinate points there you are having the space. Below that table also, you can write nature of nature of the graph is graph is straight line. Straight line. Next. Then zero of zero of the linear polynomial linear polynomial is is the point on the x-axis. The point on the x-axis. Zero of the polynomial, it is on x axis. <clears throat> the nature of graph of linear polynomial is a straight line. Finished. Now I'm going to give you the next one. Now this time I'm going to take one quadratic polynomial. Let us come to know how to get the zeros of the quadratic polynomial using the graph. Right, second question. Draw the graph. Draw the graph of the polynomial. x square minus 3x minus 4. Yes, you may start writing with me. Draw the graph of the polynomial x square minus 3x minus 4. Prepare the table, calculation table or coordinate points table. First column is for x. Second column is for the given, given polynomial. I take the given polynomial as x square minus 3x minus 4. This is y. x square minus 3x minus 4. Next, 
and third column it is for coordinate points. This is x comma y. Yes. Choose the values for x. I take zero in place of x. Then y is equal to write zero in place of x. Zero whole square minus three into zero minus four. This is zero whole square is zero. Minus three into zero is zero. Zero minus zero zero. Zero minus four is minus four. It is zero comma minus four. Let us take one. It is one. Y is equal to write one in place of x. One whole square minus three into one minus four. Here, one square is one. Three into one is three, so it is one minus three. Then minus four. It will be you see minus three minus four is minus seven. Minus seven plus one is minus six. Right. It is one comma minus six. Let me go for taking minus. The second one question, sir. Minus one. Right. Why is it equal to write minus one in place of x? Minus one whole square. Minus three into minus one. Then minus four. It is equal. To minus one whole square is plus one. Minus three into minus one is plus two. Then minus four. One plus three is four. Four minus four is zero. When x is minus one, y is zero. Sir, how we will get to know that we should take the x value is minus one or minus two? Your student, in your previous classes, you have learned that to find out the coordinate points. We will go for choosing the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Similarly, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. No, sir, and after so 0, uh, 0 and 1, uh, you took minus 1, no, sir. How, sir? Any number can be taken. Any number can be taken. Here, what I've done is I've taken 0, 1, 0. Then I've taken one positive value, plus 1. Then negative 1, minus 1. Next, you may take plus two. I can plus take minus, minus two also, no, sir, in um, place of minus one. Certainly, that only I've been telling. See the zero, one, minus one, two, minus two, three, minus two. If you want to start, start with directly two, minus two, minus seven, minus eleven. It all defined. Understood? Okay. Now, okay. Okay. okay, as your wish, I'll go for taking two. If I take 2, then it will be y is equal to, let me substitute in six. 2 whole square minus 3 into 2 minus 4. Now 2 square is 4. Minus 3 into 2 is minus 6. Then minus 4. Minus 4 plus 4 get cancelled. You will get minus 6. It is when two when x is two, y is minus six. Even you may go for taking minus two also. Try that one. Last one. When x is minus two, then y is equal to here I'll write minus two whole square, then minus three into two, but minus three into minus two, then minus four. 
minus 2 whole square is plus 4. Minus 3 into minus 2 is plus 6. Then minus 4. Cancel. Minus 4 plus 4. You will get plus 6. Then you write it. When x is minus 2, y is plus 6. Hope that you have finished. Yes, now, coordinate points the table is over. Let us go for drawing the graph. The graph. For a uh, quadratic? Yes. How many possibilities we should have to take for quadratic that equation, sir? Three, Minimum. three points. Three points. One neutral, one positive, one negative. Now, let's okay, go sir. for drawing the graph. Use graph sheet or graph notebook. Draw. X-axis. Quickly, please don't waste your time. Then draw. Y-axis. Then name X-axis as X, Y, X dash. Y axis as Y O Y dash. Over. Pawan Kumar, finish done. Ah, okay, good boy. Then write the number. Right side of zero are positive. Left side of zero are negative. Above zero are Positive, below zero or negative. Shall we start locating the points? Vijeta, shall we start? Okay. Observe. And go on locating with me also. When x is 0, y is minus 4. This is one. Just I'll clarify to a student. He's telling that when x is 2, it will be minus 4. Observe. When x is 2, 2 whole square minus 3 into 2 minus 4 as it is. 2 whole square is 4 minus 3 into 2 is minus 6. Then this is minus 4. Minus 4 plus 4 cancel on it. Now you minus 6 equal to. Right. 0 comma minus 4. When x is 0, 0 is here. Y is minus 4. See the on y axis minus 4 is here. At this point, right? It is zero comma minus four. Like just to put dot and encircle it. One comma minus six. When x is plus one, plus one is here, and y is. When x is plus one, y is minus six. Minus six. Minus six minus seven. When x is one, y is minus six. It is one comma minus six. Next. When x is minus one, y is zero. When x is minus one, y will be 0. That point comes here. Minus 1 comma 0. Next. When x is 2, y is minus 6. When x is 2, y is 
minus 6. The point comes here. Which is 1 comma minus 6 and into 3. 2 comma minus 6. Next, when x is minus 2, y is y is plus 6. When x is minus 2, y is plus 6. That comes here. Just argue for taking uh, one more point. Let us take when x is 3, 3 and the third. You have that right. Just write 3. Then y is equal to 3 whole square minus 3 into 3 minus 4. 3 square is 9. Minus 3 into 3, minus 9, then this is minus 4. Here, plus 9, minus 9 get cancelled, you get minus 4. Here, I'm right, 3 comma minus 4. When x is 3, y is minus 4. When x is plus 3, y is minus 4. That comes here. You may also go for taking any number of points. You may not do 5,000. 5,000 is not good. X is 5. 5 whole square minus 3 into 5 minus 4. It is 25 minus 15 minus 4. It will be 6. And then points on the extra one. When X is 5, Y will be 6. Five comma six. You all may be thinking that why uh, we have taken so many number of points. You come to know that. Ah, definitely curve line. Very good, very good. Spandana, you are right. I can I get curve line both even in the money back. Observe. Let's not go for using the scale. Directly you can join. Please observe the board. Stop writing. Please observe the board. Vijayta. Ashutosh. You know, you don't join one. Give me a If you feel discomfort to join with just a hand, you may go for using the scale. But now, smooth line, you know, drama model, we will just go for drawing as it is. This is. Next. From this point to this point. Next, from this point to 1, 6. Next, here, as it is smooth curve, it comes like this. And let us join this point as well. Next, I'll join from this point to this point. Okay. Observe, observe. Afterwards, you can also join those points. Sir, we can uh, draw straight line, sir. You may draw straight line also. You may draw. Direct scale in the use model. But usually, as it comes like a curve, we'll go for just drawing with a pencil. Ashutosh, stop writing. Nikhil, stop. Observe. You got the graph like this. Is it not? If the graph comes in this way or this way, we call them as linear or straight line. What about this? It is, of course, curled line, but for this curled line, this shape, we have given a special name in mathematics that is. Parable. Sir, where we got this uh, uh, five, uh, 5 and 6, sir? Huh? 5 and 6, we got here, no, sir. In x axis and y axis. It's here. Ah, sir, how we got it, sir? I explained no? when when five is taken in place of x. I even I shown with the calculation as well. Sir, repeat it, sir. 
Okay, I'm sorry. This is this shape is known as parabola. Parabola. Please stop writing. Look here. The nature of graph form quadratic polynomial. The nature of graph form quadratic polynomial is parabola. And you also know that the number of zeros with respect to any quadratic polynomial. How many? There are two zeros. Well, then here also those zeros can be found out by using the graph. You have to observe the graph that is parabola where it has intersected the x-axis. You know, two points there. Here is one and here is one. There are two points. These two points will indicate the number of zeros. There are two points. Clear up? Clear? Hmm? Yes, sir. Linear polynomial only, it will intersect the x-axis at only one point. If it is quadratic polynomial, it will intersect the x-axis at two distinct points because it has two zeros. Yes, you may join the points. You may join the points. Or up. Next, you write. No. No. First point. The nature of graph form. The nature of graph form. Quadratic polynomial is parabola. The nature of graph form quadratic polynomial is parabola. Got it? Next. Number of zeros. Number of zeros are two. Because the graph has graph has intersected intersected the x-axis at two points. Two points. Written up. Hope that you have written both the points. Now let me go for rubbing this completely. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Sir, after writing all of these answers, sir, should you write the note also? These two points. That only. That's okay, why sir. I have written. Over. Now take your notebook. Right. Sign the name. Important information. Important information with respect to zeros of a polygon. Sir, we should write this in our notebook, sir. Yes. From here, you have to start writing in your notebook. Okay, sir. Observe. Go on writing. Sir, you got to write it. Zero 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 zero. Zero. We have drawn two graphs. 
from both the graph we have come to know that those graph will intersect the x axis if it if it intersect the x axis at one point we can say 1 0 two points 2 0 three points 3 0 four points 4 0 now i'm going to give you the information regarding each type of polynomial first one right linear polynomial linear polynomial you are very familiar with the general form of this linear polynomial please Listen to me, and should go on writing with me also. First point: general form is it is a x plus b, a x plus b. Then you have come number of zeros, number of zeros. It is one only. Next, nature of the graph. nature of graph you have come to know it is a straight line straight line follow next second one quadratic polynomial quadratic polynomial Sir, we want to write in graph with sir. Yes. Hmm. We want to write in graph with sir. No, 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 notebook. This information should be written in your notebook. Yes, sir. Right. Quadratic polynomial. Its general form is a x square plus b x. Plus c, where a is not equal to zero, then number of zeros, number of zeros, it is two, and nature of the graph, nature of the graph is parabola, parabola. Next third, cubic polynomial. Sir, Should be written in your sir. We have done only two. We have done only two graphs, sir. Yes. Third one we should try, no, sir. Right. Cubic polynomial. Its general form. It is a x cube plus b x square plus c x plus b. And the number of zero. Number of zeros. It will be three because its degree is three. Next, nature of the graph. The way now the graph that draw on it, eh? Observe. You will get like this. So, what is the shape of this? Parabola. It is. Curved line. See that this has intersected the x-axis at three distinct points. So three zeros. You can write nature is curved line. Curved line. Similarly, hyperbola is for uh, remaining also. Means we may get like this also. so that is why from cubic polynomial just we will go for writing curved line curved line for cubic polynomial sorry cubic polynomial biquadratic quintic hexic and so on for first two only particular name linear straight line quadratic parabola now we have inform more information regarding quadratic polynomial just look at it now this time please don't go for writing anything look here your students you all know that 
the nature of graph of quadratic polynomial what is that parabola what is that parabola parabola one and i have shown that parabola like this you all may be thinking that sir parabola may also come like this also is it not it is it looks like upright you and this is inverted you and you also may be thinking that sir under what condition you will get we will get upright parabola and inverted parabola anybody want to tell if you know you can tell under what condition quadratic parabola like this and inverted parabola not a is zero here the students you know that the general form of quadratic polynomial is a x square plus b x plus c alva idralli coefficient of a sorry coefficient of x square that is a this will tell us whether it is upright or inverted if a is if a is greater than 0 which we that if it is positive namage a value enadru positive itto andre ikil should observe the board when if a value is positive then we will get upright parabola if a is negative that is less than 0 then we will get inverted parabola followed yes sir after that i i'll give you one a polynomial thank you it is 2x square plus 5x plus 6 okay for this whether upright parabola or inverted parabola upright or inverted right sir upright right upright varutha va sir how will you get to know that is upright or inverted sir that is only i have been telling a value enadru positive itto andre that is upright parabola ಅದು ಚೆಕ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಡ್ರಾ ದ ಗ್ರಾಫ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ವರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ a will be negative this is one thing. next one more information you all may be thinking that the of course one graph is like this another graph We also come like this. Just it may test the x-axis. Alwa, that the ingo bar board. And the third possibility is it may not it may not touch us. Followed. Sir, I've I've been writing the possibilities. In the first possibility, the parabola. or the graph has intersected the x axis at two different points next here the graph has intersected one the point x -axis at only one point in third case the graph has not intersected at any point <clears throat> here can you say that it has two zeros Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The number of zeros depends on the number of points on the x-axis where the graph will intersect. It has intersected the x-axis at two points. It's two zero. Here, one zero. And here, no zero. Again, okay, graph has not intersected the x-axis. Followed. and for this also you all may be thinking that sir under what condition we will get two zeros one zero and no zeros the students here the in the general form a square plus bx plus c in the b square minus 4ac and page it is told b square minus 4ac and this is called discriminant discriminant idu matte now discuss martive quadratic equation alli okay you just remember b square minus 4ac 
this value will give us information about whether it has two zeros, one zero, or no zero. If b square minus four ac, if it is greater than zero, if b square minus four ac is greater than zero, we will get two zeros. Next, if b square minus four ac is equal to zero, then we will get only one zero. Then if b square minus 4 ac is less than 0, nothing but negative, then we won't get any zeros. After it, followed? Yes. Yes. Okay. And now, just I'll go for making you to write that point also. Right. Graph of quadratic polynomial. copy more Right, side Graph of quadratic polynomial. Case one. Case one, draw the graph. Sir, in notebook only, sir. Yes, in notebook only. Sir, you should draw a rough diagram, sir. You scale and oh, I should use scale and This is X, this is O, this X that. This is Y, O, Y that. First case, it is upright parabola. Upright parabola, this is possible because A is greater than zero. When A is greater than zero, we will get upright parabola. Next, case two. Case two. When A is less than zero, nothing but negative. Draw that. Right, x o x dash, then y o y dash. This time you'll get inverted parabola. Inverted parabola. <coughs> Next. Right. Case three. Case three. When B square minus four in C is greater than zero, nothing but positive. Then number of zeros will be two. Number of zeros will be two, whether it may be upright or inverted. Right, it is x. O x dash 
in y both y dash it may be upright or it may be inverted out x go x dash y go y dash next case 4 case 4 right when b square minus 4 ac is equal to 0 is equal to 0 then number of zeros it is 1 actually we will get 2 but both the zeros will be same 1 0 2 bandre inondu kuda 2 bar 1 0 3 bandre another one also 3 in the last problem that is constant 1 by 8 itara adon recall madu we got 1 by 4 and 1 by 4 are it ba then draw right it is x go x dash should be drawn like this Upright parabola, and it it meets x-axis at only one point. Next, x go x dash. This is y go y dash, and this is inverted parabola. It meets the x-axis at only one point. Next, here I'll write. Case five. Case five. That is when b square minus four ac is less than zero. That is negative. When it is negative, number of zero. That is no. We won't get any zero. And the graph of graph with respect to this case can be drawn like this. It is x go x dash, y go y dash. The graph will not. Intersect the x-axis at any point. This is x go x dash, and this y go y dash. Graph will not intersect at any point. Finished up. Excuse me, sir. completed sound off okay adya case 5 aksha naksha have you completed sir said please sir should go on copying with me it will be easier mukta completed okay Sundar, Ahul Palati, completed, sir. The last one. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Skandar of PG, no. Sri Priya Naga Samudra. completed have you completed hmm good girl 
इमाद खान नगा नो नॉट इट मिलन ओके 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 रुतु कंप्लीटेड हाँ आई गिव इनफॉरमेशन आदिल जस्ट ऑब्जर्व Okay. Yeah, I'm drawing the graph. You no need to go for drawing. Just observe. I'll draw the graph. You should tell number of zeros. You have to show the zeros with by using your finger. If one is there, you can show like this. It is two, three, four, five, and so on. Now tell how many zeros. One sir. One zero. It has intersected the x-axis at only one point. How many zeros? Two zeros. Sir. No, no, no. One, one sir. One sir. One sir. One zero. Now, how many zeros? No zero. No zero. No zero. No zero. No zero. X-axis. Next, if it is, how many zeros? Two zeros. Two zeros. Zero. Two zeros. Sir. Two zero. Now. No zero. No zero. No zero. No zero. No zero. No zero. 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 How many zero? Three zero. Three zero. Three zero. How many zero? Four. Four zero. 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 How many zeros? One zero. One zero. One zero. Only one point. How many zeros? One. One. One zero. How many zeros? Two zeros. Two zero. Two zero. Two zero. How many zeros? क्लियर ओके I have given you good information uh, in your NCERT textbook. This much information is not there, but those informations are hidden. But such information is available from your reference books, like yes, Chal, R D Sharma. Then in no detail as you can. Yes, sir. R D Sharma. Along with that, if you want to use, you can go for using Oswa. Got it? Along with NCERT, today I have used yes, Chal, R D Sharma. And was what by collecting the information from those, I give you the detailed information uh, regarding the graph of linear linear polynomial quadratic cubic given by quadratic as well. Got it? Okay, dear students. Uh, yesterday I had sent you one uh, material. Will uh, Adil Malik? I give the material. Nothing to worry. Uh, just uh, whatever the information I have been giving right now, you can follow that one. Wait, wait. At present situation, present situation is not so comfortable to make you to come to my tuition and distributing the materials. One day I find a fine fine day. Definitely, I'll provide in that day only. Okay. Just listen to me. Yesterday night I had given you one message regarding. Today's evening test. 
the student every sunday we have been giving the importance for writing we have been conducting the weekly test is it not that test is meant for improving your writing at the same time i am also thinking about how to enhance your thinking skill at the time of uh, writing the test so that today uh, I, as a part of this today i am going to conduct one test in the evening it is very simple there will be a google form in that 15 questions will be there 15 questions will be there and all are sir all questions, questions will be mcq sir adune helta idinappa all are multiple choice questions nothing but mcq but for each question i have been giving three options out of these three options you have to select one option got it so 15 questions will be there 15 marks and it is for uh, 30 minutes within 30 minutes only a link will be sent just you have to open the link and when you open the link and you will get that question paper before that one information will be there that is start option will be there when you start when you press start your complete question paper will be opened got it once the question paper is opened your countdown will start 30 minutes irutala 30 minutes at the start agutte you will you are you will be allowed to you will be allowed to answer only for 30 minutes matte 30 minutes aad mele that question paper is not available three options will be there you have to go for choosing the right option okay and some will be there you have to think and choose the option and some will some needs bit calculation also okay and again pen and notebook should be ready for working out and selecting the option yes sir followed uh, then after attempting all at last there will be a submit option you just submit after pressing submit then you will come to immediately you will come to know how much marks you will get out of 15 how much marks you will get got it and you and after that we will also go for giving you the information uh, regarding the number of students uh, the, the, the scores of all the students as well as the top 10 scorer the test will be conducted from 7 to 7 30 link will be sent exactly at 6 55 6 55 get link colors got it hmm? so it will uh, yes, actually uh, uh, worksheet will be there as usual that is regular uh, yesterday when i discussed with our technical team they have suggested to go for this to enhance the skills of the students that is why today we are implementing it okay so prepare electricity chapter well followed so test is on science test is on science the chapter is electricity electricity so with this let us stop the class thank you very much thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.